I want to Ah, Google's a Google one. I can go and go out. You're my loser. Fig, I'm my loser. I'm going to lose. You have a malu. Go to your malu. I'm more easy to try. I'm more easy to try. I give Who calls my love? When I was using, when I was a man, I was a little bit of a little
nine, we are going to the farm. Take the children back to the house. No, is anything the matter? The Ikra has just sounded. I am leaving for the palace. Let's get back to the house. Mama, why? The equal that just sounded portrays bad omen. As the traditional prime minister of Amachara, your father has gone to find out why. So please, let's go to the house. Let's go. Please, let's go. ancestors. Before long, we shall meet again to make arrangements in keeping with our tradition for his last of father, after which we shall consult the gods for their choice of a new Igwe. Since I don't want to tell you who I be, come out from Come out from this Come out from this Look at you, 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 Look at 
shouting outside the gates. I don't know about him. In come because I call him up a side and start to the abuse I'm going. Why? I don't know. He does say him be itchy. Itchy? He could be from my village. Let him in. Oh, God. Calm down. He doesn't know tradition, okay? Just calm down. Calm down. Abu Abanda. It's Jay Diva. Abu Abanda. The Abu Abanda. So you think again? Welcome to the food of the Abu Abanda. Thank you very much. Sit down, please. Sit down. Thank you very much. How are your children and wife? Ah, uh, they are on summer holidays in the United States. Um, what do I offer you? <laughs> this house is yours too. Chief, a pregnant woman does not dance there till Lord will dance. I have a solemn message I must deliver to you from the people of Amatra before anything else. Ichi, is it about the two million naira that I promised to donate to the school project? <laughs> Come on, join me and let us drink as we talk. Or have you forgotten in whose house you are? Not at all, Chief, not at all. You see, a headless body has no need for learning of any sort. The all-knowing gods have beheaded Amacha. Mm. Mm. Deep words, Ichijima. Deep words. Unload your mind. Igwe umunapwe, the Okoj of Amacha, has joined his ancestors. So the council sent me to come and inform you. Thank God. Haru. Haru. What did you say? Calm down, EJ, calm down. You see, some kings are made while some are predestined to be kings. I, Ibuani Danda, am born to be a king. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you got me right, Chief. I did. Huh? You said the Igwe is dead. Ah, bro. The Igwe does not die. He goes to the great beyond to rest. Whatever, EJ, whatever. An Igwe must die. Or, or rest for another to be crowned. Ichi, look at my head. Hmm? Look. Is it not good enough for the crown of Amachara? God forbid that I should be drawn into the abomination of this cousin, the succession to the throne of uh, Amachara. Why are the Igwe here to be buried? <sighs> Ichi, Dima. Our forefathers say that those who must win any race must start in time to prepare for it. To me, the succession race has started. And if you fall in behind me, I promise to make you a millionaire overnight. Now, you're joking. The Ibuwa Indanda does not joke. Excuse me. Happy that uh, you're all here. We set aside today 
to discuss the burial arrangements of the Igwe, with particular emphasis on his last of father. As no, you all know. Oh, no, please. Not without Chief Mwaka. This meeting is too important to take place without the presence of the most illustrious son of Amachara, Chief Mwaka. Idima, council meetings do not wait for anybody. The meetings start on time. This is why it is demanded of the Ichies that they be punctual. You see? You see? That's the problem with poverty. The poor are created for the comfort and confidence of the rich. Enough! Enough, Ichie, Idima. Ah! I'm ashamed of you. The soul of Amata is lying in there in perpetual silence. And you are here in Sot No No. Sit down! Sit down. As I was saying, it is the custom of our people to ensure that before the Igwe embarks. Can I know why this meeting started before my arrival? As I was saying, it is the tradition of our people. However poor you are, I expect you to know that a rich man like me has a lot of things to attend to at any given time. You came late. Sit down. We are here to discuss the burial rights of Igwe. Sit down. If that is what this meeting is all about, on how to raise money for the burial of the Igwe, you should have told me instead of wasting my time. I've already set aside a sum of 10 million naira for the burial. Ichiazu, appoint a committee to work out the details and send the list to me later. Abwapanda. Good day, Ndichi. Abwapanda. Poverty of the mind is an affliction from the gods. Gods of our ancestors I'm at crossroads I have lived my life based upon our traditional values my entire life has been governed by the conviction that it is right to be honest straightforward and sympathetic to the plight of others my father taught me as I was growing up that people are respected by the wealth of their virtue and not by virtue of their wealth. Today, all these values that we hold dear have been set aside in preference for things that are foreign and inimical to our interest as a people. What do I do? Do I change for the times? gods, I have come to seek from you wisdom to enable me sustain the things I cannot change and still maintain my integrity. So because our values have changed and the yardstick for measuring this value has also changed, that's why I decided that uh, any Naya will go to the city and learn to survive on his own in the city. What? Yes. How can you send your only son to room in strange city, a strange city and get lost in nine? Uh, you see, it was a very painful decision for me to take. But it was imperative because I had no alternative. Um, after the Igwe must have been committed to the care of our ancestors, he will live for the city. He didn't finish secondary school two years ago. He's still a small boy. How can he go in, go to the city and start living alone at night? Yes, I know that he finished secondary school two years ago. I had to take this decision because I don't have any money with which to further his education. It now becomes imperative for him to leave. 
and seek his survival elsewhere. Not here, certainly. The other people have done that. It will not be any exception. He will go there. He'll be guided by our forefathers. He will succeed. Um, Papa, I've heard you. But what will I be doing in the city in order to survive? In, uh, you will do everything that will make you successful without compromising the integrity of this family. And I know you will do it. But Papa, you know we don't have any relation in the city. Where will Enyina stay in the city, Papa? Now, the friend of mine called Ugumba, he used to be the headmaster of Amachara Primary School. Your mother knows him. He now stays in Enugu. Enyina will be staying with him. Hmm? And um, he will succeed. You may think that Enyin Naya is too young. I was 10 when my parents died. But I was able to get where I am today because I persevered. Most of the young men who are successful in this village today and flaunt their world left this place for the township having nobody to stay with. But they went there, they succeeded. And they came back here. The same thing will happen to Enyin Naya. He will go to the city. He will be guided by the spirit of our forefathers. He will succeed and he will come back. Listen. Mweze and Evunamba. You know that. More so when you are the son of somebody who has kept his head while others have lost theirs. I am the lion. And you are my son. You will succeed. Nothing will prevent you. Why? Because you are my son. You will go there. You will succeed. You will come back. I shall hail you as a success. Remember, wherever you go, you are carrying the name and the integrity of this family with you. And for that alone, our ancestors will guide you. Because you are my son. Thank you, Papa. I've had you. And I know with your blessings, I shall succeed. Good. <laughs> Chief, thank you for your drinks. You're welcome. Now, why have you called us to your house? With so much urgency as conveyed by a driver. Thank you, Uchi Okeje. You see, the survival of any kingdom lies in the ability of its leaders to arrive at and implement good decisions swiftly. True words. But ours is a no such danger. It's no imminent danger, is it? It could be. The gods have provided us with a great opportunity to build a matter. That's why I invited both of you here so that we can put heads together and talk about how best to do that. We're listening. It's about the succession to the throne of Amachara. What? I want you to do you want to calm down, gentlemen, calm down. Judging by the abomination you have just mentioned, if we allow you to finish, you will incur the wrath of the gods. The gods can be appeased with sacrifices. And I have the money to do that. And that is why you forget that talking about succession to our throne while the former occupant is yet to be buried is taboo. Abolition! Calm down. Gentlemen, calm down. Listen. The past and the ignorance and stagnation it represented died with Igor Munekwe. Let us talk about how to bury it and embrace a new future of hope and progress that beckons on us. The gods are listening. Shelve this topic now till after the Igwe's burial and avoid the wrath of the gods. <laughs> the gods are wise, Ichiogo. Very wise. 
they will never kill the Igwe of Amachara. Both of you are looking at the next Igwe. So I am coming from you. I am getting out of here. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. It seems a jade man was right. I have to wait till after the burial. The wine doctor. <laughs> the aunt of a marcher. Clear this place. But all what I told you in the house. Hmm? Yes. I don't intend to add any other thing to it, but bear in mind, whatever you do, wherever you go, please always remember where you are coming from. Hmm? Yes, Papa. You are carrying the name of this family wherever you go. Hmm? Yes, Papa. May the gods of our forefathers, the gods of our ancestors, the gods of Amachara guide and protect you at all times. You will go in peace and you will come back accomplished. I've heard you, Papa, and I will not fail you. Thank you. I'll see him off. Thank you.
Mm. Ije, Ije. That was a very brilliant suggestion you made last week. <laughs> and it really worked in destabilizing the succession meeting Ije also called. I work on that. Chief, the poor man's inability to resist monetary gift is likened to that of the housefly to resist feasting on a decomposing caps. Hmm. <laughs> Good choice of words. Um, Ichi, I can still remember the various expressions on the faces of those elders when they saw the morning in my portfolio that day. <laughs> I guess I'm on my way to the throne already. You are already sitting there already? Uh, <laughs> yes. Not until we stop each other's insistence on allowing the oracle make a choice for us. Nah, that one is very simple. See, once the council supports it, you have it. There is nothing he can do. All you need is to invite the elders here, apply last week's method, and it works out. Yes, it will be done. <laughs> yes. Okay. I will have them here tomorrow. Straight away. Um, Ichi, I learned Ichiazu is planning another meeting soon. I have to beat him to that. You will beat him. <laughs> I'm sure of that. You will beat him. I don't want to buy it for my girl. You want it down there? That's me. That's me. Enjoy yourself. There's more from where this came from. <laughs> Welcome to my house, Ndichi. Thank you very much. Uh, people say that no one calls grey hairs to a meeting except to discuss grey issues. I called you here today to discuss the present and the future of our matter. And all of you will agree with me that no other issue could be more grey. At all, at all. There isn't such issue too important to be discussed in the absence of the traditional Prime Minister and acting head of Amateur. Well, um, it's okay, Jay. You're right. You're very right. But I have so much regard for the office of Ichiazu that I cannot invite him to my house to discuss anything. Rather, I'll see him in his house later. The proper thing would have been to talk things over with him first. Ichiazu, a world as dynamic as ours requires adaptability by those who wish to be relevant. Change that involves disregarding to the dictates of the culture of our people is evil. Yes. Um, it, it's all right, DJ. It's all right. It's all right. Well, without wasting any more of your time, I called you here to inform you that I, the Bwain Danda, want to become the next Ikui of Amacha. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. No one chooses the ego of a match except a junior. The members of this council can change that. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to ask whose ego are we talking about here? Is it the ego of Ijiri, the oracle, or the ego of Amacha? Ego of Amacha, of course. Well, if that is the case, the people and not the oracle should choose their ego. Um. The development of this community. Of our matter depends on us. Or the destruction of our village and all of us. Yes. Not if I am the equal. Hmm. I will personally develop our matter with my hard earned money. Hmm. Work on that. Besides, there is another side to this that I know all of you will surely like. James, 
Yeah. Tell the boys to get me the box. this money and oppose Azul's insistence on having the oracle name our next thing with, and support me to the throne. Spontaneous reaction like theirs changes when calm and calculative reason takes over. Eh? I can assure you everything is under control. In fact, you are the Igwe already. For the past two years. <laughs> you can say that again. As if he sends them to me and not to my parents. Oh, it's the same thing. The same money your parents use in buying good clothes, shoes for you that you use. Maybe you may share. Right, yes. And I never hear you. Hey! What's the game? You never hear you. Latest word. You. You are your latest gist. Or you need to work this time. Huh. As if you are not in this town. Okay. Rumor has it that Chief Mwaka is nursing the ambition to be the next Igwe of Amachara. Amachara and Kaya. <laughs> oh, you to... Who told you? Eh? Eh, 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 wait. What is wrong about that? Huh? Prove that the gods nominated him. Igwe? You nominated Okay. It is said that uh, he doesn't want it that way. He wants to get to that true at all costs. And even if it means buying it, he has the cash. He can even buy this whole village. You can see, he has even made you his campaign manager. Well, my father told me that wealth, however big, does not but one the ancient tune of Amachara. So I heard. The true one is a gift of destiny and the gods. Please, let's go. We can gossip. So, what I am saying in essence is that the choice of Arigwe henceforth should be based on relevant and empirical qualities. And not just on the whims and caprices of our gods who stand to lose nothing if the Igwe fails. Sit down, Chief Mocker. 
Sit down. You are insulting our traditions. Why should he sit down? Why should he sit down? Why? Uh, okay, Jeff. Wait, wait. You see, the beauty of our traditional administrative system is that everyone is allowed to express their opinions, no matter how unsavory those opinions might be to some people. So, let him have his way. Um, Mwaka, please go on. I've already made my position known on this issue. I have a right to have my suggestion accepted or rejected by a vote of all the council members. It has never happened before. Why should it start happening now? Supposing it starts today. So tell me, supposing it begins right now. What is wrong in Chief Mwaka indicating his interest to vie for the Igbo ship of Amachara? What is wrong in that? Those who the gods want to destroy, the first make mad. I'm ashamed of you and your cohorts in this shameful performance. Okay, okay, being as poor as you are and behaving and talking the way you do gives you the picture of an unintelligent sycophant. Do you hear that? An unintelligent sycophant. It's all right. Are you. Are you, you what? See, Ichiedima, being a member of this august council presupposes that you must enjoy some integrity. But the irresistible fascination that the gutter has for you begins to just make one wonder. And I mean every word of what I am saying. You insult your seniors with impunity. You desecrate our traditional values gladly. You make nonsense of our deliberations happily. But sometimes I wonder how you wound up in this council. You see, the way you sound gives me the impression that you crawled out of a background of pockmarked criminal mistakes. <laughs> now, having said that, let me get to the issue on the floor. The successor to the throne of Amachara has never been determined by ballot. It is the exclusive preserve of the gods, and they alone enjoy that authority. This argument ends here. <laughs> Panda, Chief Moka, let's go. If we fail today, tomorrow is another day. Let's move. Let's move. Papua Panda. I am totally disappointed in you, Jade Man. You failed me. I tried my best. Your best was not good enough, my friend. It was a woeful failure. Now tell me why I should continue to partner with you to realize my ambition. Why? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. So I thought I had convinced all the indigenous until I had a year as we had a meeting with all those who are opposing us in this house. Hours before today's meeting. What? Yes. That's why he poisoned their minds against us. Chief, what do you suggest I do to Ichiazu to stop this nonsense? Uh, Chief, uh, 
poverty, like a virus disease, has eaten deep into him and he is dying slowly. So only a reliable cure can make him to support you. How do you suggest I cure him? Kill him? No, Chief. No. He enjoys special protection from the gods as acting head of Amachara. So any attempt in that direction will be suicidal. Let me suggest that you offer him what he can never refuse. An offer he will never refuse. Ichi Azu is a very difficult man, Ichi Dima. Very difficult. Yes, he is difficult, but the best way to get the weakness of any man is through temptation. Tempt him with the opposite of poverty. And you will smile, I assure you. Yes, the opposite of poverty. So once upon a time, a toad was relaxing under the shade of a tree. Then a snake came along and asked the toad to go away. And the toad said, why? And the snake said, because I am the only one who is entitled to enjoy the shade of this tree. So the toad moved some little distance. Again, the snake went to the toad and said, Look. Mark, what are you doing in my compound? Kotsi demands that a host offers a seat to his visitor before anything else. Uh, not when that visitor is a problem unto the community. Okay. Akpati. Yes, Chief. The bag. Inside this bag, Ichiazu, is the sum of five million naira, enough to change your world overnight. I am offering it to you. For what? I want to be the next Igwe of Amachara. Take this money and remove all the obstacles you're putting on my way to achieving that. The traditional stool of Amachara is not bought with money. That area is the exclusive preserve of the gods. So I don't need your money. In defense of the sacred sanctity of the culture of Amachara, I stand firm like the Iroko tree. Ichazu, a man blasted by the wind of poverty, is like an Iroko tree without roots. This is an offer you can't refuse, Ichazu. Take the money away, Moka. I don't need it. You will hear from me. Till then. Good. Akpati. Yes, sir. Sierra. Come. So the toad moved away from under the shade of the tree. Again, the snake followed it. Ancestors, I greet you. 
You have always guided us. You have always protected us. You have always provided for us. Morka and his men are abusing everything that we hold dear in this community. He has consistently referred to me as a poor man. He has not stopped there. He calls me an Iroku without roots. There are some of us in this community who have sworn to uphold our traditional values the essence of our culture. We know that we are in the right. And because we know that we are in the right, gods of our ancestors, this is your fight. It is your duty, God, to rid our community of Morka and his men who have decided to deride everything that we hold dear. I offer you this sacrifice as I make this appeal to you gods. Protect us. Rid us of the pestilence represented by Morka and his people. His rejection of your money makes everything very difficult. I suggest you allow the gods name the Igwe. You will then buy a position from the person so named. Our culture allows that. And forever lose that throne to some nincompoop if he refuses to sell it? No. That is totally unacceptable by me. There must be a way to neutralize it, Yasuo. I am paying for your services, so think for God's sake, think! At the moment, Chief, he still commands the loyalty of majority in the council. The only thing we can do now is to deplete their number and then invoke our rights in the council to force him to revisit the issue. Yes. by convincing some of them to support us. But it, that would be very difficult with the two most respected Ichies in that camp, Ugo and Ukeje. What you are implying is that the opposition will crumble without those two? As sure as the palm oil melts with the application of heat, yes. Honestly, I am really proud of Papa's refusal of Chief Mokka's bribe money yesterday. But I'm worried. Worried over what? I was eavesdropping when they were talking. And I didn't quite like his choice of words. Mama, he sounded so desperate and dangerous. I'm afraid for our safety, Mama. Yeah. Adam, your father is highly protected by the gods. Nothing will happen to him. Hmm? What in? Chief Moka, in all indication, would do anything to become the Igwe, including killing no. Tell Papa not to stand on his way. I'm afraid for our safety, your mama. I'm afraid, though, for your father to allow anybody to ascend to the throne of Amacha in the wrong way. It's a betrayal to the gods. Huh? 
Even at the point of death, he will never allow that. Hmm? I know you love your father so much, so go and prepare your breakfast. Of our land Officers. come to our rescue. Now, Kemma, repeat what you told us, Council, a while ago before these gentlemen. Okay. Isn't it premature involving the police at this point? I guess I need not remind you, Chiazu, that murder, apart from being an abomination in Amatara, is also a capital crime that only the police can investigate. I know that. But this council have dispatched some youths for the scene of the crime to go and try to authenticate the statements made by this woman here. Why don't we wait until they return so they can report back to us? Ichiazu, obstruction of justice is a crime. And at my level in the society, to get associated with any crime is a dirty scandal. Those who have no reputation to uphold and protect, like you, can afford to be careless in things like this. I can't. Officers, yes, sir. this woman saw it all. Madam, what happened in the bush today? <clears throat> I was picking mushrooms in a bush near Ichiogo's farm. When I heard a gunshot, I rushed out. I saw him lying in a pool of his own blood. But before that, I had seen a man hastily walking away from the farm. Is the person here? Yes. Can you identify him? Um, I didn't see his face soon, but from what I could make of his back, he looked like Ichi Ukeje there. Eh? Yes. Me? Eh. You know, we Eh. Oh, no. It's not true. Wait, 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 wait. Woman. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that the person you saw at the scene of the crime is Ukeje. Did you check in the morning? Uh, welcome, welcome. Oh no, the youths are back. They recovered this gun at the crime scene. Apparently, it was the murder weapon. Cops of a matter. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Abu Panda. Abu Panda. This is Ichie Ukeje's gun. Uh -huh. In fact, I helped him buy it. Oh. Eh? Ichie Ukeje. This is your gun. That's your gun. Abu Panda. This man is in all yours. But, oh, officer, yeah. uh, let him complete the part in your station. Well, From the time he committed this crime, he became an unwanted person, an alien in this community. Please, just uh, take, take, 
take him away. Grand drinking. Wait. No son of Amajara is found guilty before the facts are established. Let us employ some common sense here. How can a man commit a crime with his gun and then abandon that same gun at the scene of the crime? Does it make sense? He must have committed the blunder in his haste to leave the scene undetected. I screamed when I heard the gun shot. Maybe that was what scared him. Did you hear that, Mr. Right and Wrong? Did you? Officer, please do your work. Take him away. Let's go. Sir, let's go. My friend, don't waste our time. Let's on. go, sir. Okay, Jeff. Don't worry. I know that the gods will intervene. Gods of our land, come to our rescue. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Hey, Ibu and Idanda, allow us also one. Ibu and Idanda. Welcome. Thank you very much. Indeed, there is no amount of load to be for the Ibu and Idanda. Hmm. You have proved it. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh huh. I have paid a camera. Okay. And the DPO has assured me that it's okay, Jay. Is a sure candidate for the prison yard. <laughs> <laughs> that is one problem solved. Mm. But let me tell you, Chief, even if they release him, our culture forbids that he steps his feet onto the soil of Amacha ever again. <laughs> yes. It's a demand. Eh? When the lion enters the jungle, the antelope takes to its heels. <laughs> it is very unfortunate that they fail to know who the lion of Amatara jungle is and take the necessary precautions when I entered. Ah, oh, Amanda! Ibu! Ibu! Chief. The men are <clears throat> outside. Yes. Have you briefed them yet? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let me see them. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Welcome. Thank you. Now, according to Ichi, he has told you everything. Yes. yes. The council meets very soon, and that's where the real action will be. But one thing is clear, though. Helping me become the next Igwe of Amachara means helping yourselves out of the trap of poverty. I hope you understand. Yes. You understand. Good. Good. Um, please wait outside for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. James! You wait under James! Me, please, I'm your wife. Yeah, so the, you the, uh, there's no problem. This is what you have been telling me hmm? three days ago. No problem. Yesterday, the same thing. Today, again, not there's no problem. Talk to me. I am your wife, and I am worried. I said there's no problem. Look, allow me to think. There's no problem. 
It's no problem. Oh, let it be no problem. problem. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Gods of our land, help us out of the situation. Gods of our land, you're all that we have. Who are you? You heard me, didn't you? I said, who are you? Uh, they are those replacing Ichiyazu, Keje, and Dogo. Who appointed them? Their respected villages sent them to fill their slots in the council. That is not our procedure. If their villages want them to represent them on the council, they will first of all come to me with their names. If I approve those names, they'll be appointed to the council. They never did any such thing. Ichiyazu. Their people recommended these gentlemen. Mm. I do not recognize them. Chiazo, you are just a traditional prime minister. It doesn't give you the right to take laws into your hand. No. I want both of you to leave now. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, um, please, you don't have that right to order them out of this council. Mm -mm. I said I want both of you to leave this place. All right. By the powers conferred on me at the Onuwu of the Amachara community, I hereby suspend all council meetings henceforth until further notice. You can't do that. The judge, I said you can't do that. How can you do that? Now? But how can he unilaterally take a decision like that? Wait for option two. How dare you? How dare you, Jiazu? Do you know what he succeeded in doing yesterday? Effectively stopping me from taking any further step towards realizing my ambition. Chief, it's even worse than that. His decree yesterday has effectively made him the sole traditional ruler of Ramachara until he recalls the council. I have always known him to nurse that ambition. How else can one explain that a poor, wretched man like Ichiyasu, wretched man, would reject millions of dollar gifts from me? I will stop him. Uh, uh, Chief, let me ask you. I want none of your advice. But, 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 I will lose yeah. all of you. All of you. Uh, uh, all of you. I will find that. I will uh, Chief, let's invoke the right of the people. So that next time when he shows this tendency to dominate, he will easily be checked. Not, not until I have made some salient facts known to that fool. But Chief, uh, I want to be left alone. Uh, but there, there are. I said, leave my house. Oh, oh let my bodyguards lose on you. Leave. James! James! Abu Abanda! Hey! Hey! Of course! Abu Abanda! Hey! 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 Chiasu, you're playing with fire, and fire will burn you.
Chazo. My mission here is to warn you that your ambition to become the sole ruler of Amatara will make you die like a common dog. One consolation about death is that it does not discriminate. I just might die like a common dog, as you just recommended, but uh, who knows the manner of death that the gods have prescribed for you, Chief Morka? I will be the ruler of Amatara, the Igwe of Amatara, and no one, not even you, Ichazu, not even you can stop me. Tell the gods that. Tell the gods. Before I speak any further, Ichi Idima will brief you on the reason why we called you to this meeting. Okay. Ichi, please. Uh, thank you, Chief. Thank you. And uh, welcome once again. Thank, thank you, Chief. Uh, there are things you can do to a married woman, and she won't tell her husband. Yes. But not when you take away her baby from her. Yes. True words, true. Is your opinion? There is a treacherous evil going on in our town, Amatara, right now. And as youths and women leaders, you have a right to know because you are equal stakeholders in this our kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. Azu and a few other greedy Ichies have conspired to deny our town a new Igwe since the demise of Igo Munawe. We have tried our best to stop them, but to no avail. And because the destiny of our town is in our collective hands, we decided to inform you and the entire kingdom. Not on my life. I am the president of Amatara youths in this community. And so, by my honor, I swear that no youths will stand aside and watch anybody rape our culture in broad daylight. Yes. Hey. This is it. Yes. Can, can, can happen? happen? Not with my colleagues and I as a women leader. We will mobilize people against such evil right away. Yes. Mom, I know you will. I know you will. But before you mobilize, let me remind you that the world has changed tremendously. These days, people like you, like me, Determine our destiny and not the gods anymore. Yes, yes, yes. I single-handedly built a secondary school in Amachara. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. My foundation has ensured that widows and their children do not live in perpetual misery anymore. Yes, sir. So are our youths in the area of business and job opportunities. My people, the next Igwe of Amachara must be progressively minded. Of course. Uh, Chief, I think 
the gods have that prerogative of choice in that uh, regard? No, German. No. The Igwe is the Igwe of Amachara people mm -hmm. and not of Amachara gods. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, but you. Uh, hey, GMA. But. But is a cloak that blindfolds the foolish from taking full advantages of the opportunities before him. Hmm? Your father is ill and needs medical attention, right? James? Yes, Chief. Abu Panda. Abu Panda. Yeah. That is a hundred thousand naira. Take care of your father with that. Thank you, Jim. Darling, it's all right. Thank you, Abu. Thank you, Abu. Thank you, Abu. Thank you, James. Give each of them a bundle. All right, sir. Chief, oh. thank you, sir. It's you live long. Chief, thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Nothing goes for nothing. Mm -hmm. In other words, in other words, you broke my back, I broke your back. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. it's I will brief you, Father. Thank you for coming and thank you for listening to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Of our matcher, I greet you. What is the problem? You see, as the beehive of our community has been disturbed, and the angry bees are in the air, seeking the head of the culprit. Grave words, my son, but I don't understand you. 
Uche, if in the next four days you do not reconvene the Royal Council to select the next Igwe, then we will invoke the power of the people and have you removed as the traditional Prime Minister of Amachara Kingdom. My people, have I spoken your mind? Yes! Yeah! What I have just heard is your collective opinion, then I'm afraid Amachara is in danger. No, Ichie, you have endangered yourself with greed and ambition. And if you do not heed our warning accordingly, then we will react. All right, I've heard you, and the gods have heard you as well. We shall meet, and I'll get back to you. You can go now. Nani, I don't like the trend this issue is, is taking. There's no need to be afraid. There's nothing to worry about. How would I not be afraid? The entire match are against us. I am Dio No. And I can handle the situation. Go and prepare me some roasted yam. Come on. Quickly. I want to eat roasted yam. Haven't you heard me? Oh no. We are here to inform you that the elders of our two villages have rejected your nominees to the Royal Council. Why? We were not mandated to tell you that. I see. All right. I will send you fresh nominees. That would be necessary. No nominees outside any and Endoka will be approved. I see. So you were also mandated to tell me who to nominate. Hmm? You see, when the gods allow you to reach a particular age, as both of you have now, it is for you to be custodians of culture. It is for you to preserve our traditional values, not to desecrate them. Hmm? Does the dog eat the bone that is hung around its neck? No. Give me your hands. Good. Fine. You see, when elders who are leaders of a generation decide to call black white, that generation is doomed. But there's a consolation. The gods cannot be deceived. The gods can never be corrupted. And they are watching us. They are watching every action of ours. All right, I have heard you. Thank you for insulting us. Right, let's go. As we run. Mm -hmm. The wise and fearless welcome you to the boat of the gods. I thank you, Chief Priest of Amachara. The people of Amachara have been suffering and groaning under the tyranny of one man. I ask you. What have we done to deserve all this? Are our gods asleep? Not at all. Give me the gifts for the gods and go home.
gods of our land, come to our rescue. Gods of our land, wipe away our tears. Gods of our land, help us out of this situation. We did everything as you instructed us, Chief. Just two days ago, we got the elders of our villages to reject his nominees and insist on any and the Ndoka. Hmm. And was the chair as you told him for? That same thing. Have you heard from him since then? No. <laughs> it's all right. Thank you for a job very well done. As you go now, my guard will give each of you the sum of 50,000 Naira and that of all the elders of your villages. Please send my gratitude to them. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. You're welcome. You, you're welcome. This is great, Chief. Chief, the deadline set by Amacha people for each year has to do as we want expires today and he doesn't seem to be bothered now what is our next line of action maybe he thinks the people are joking let's wait till tomorrow and see what his face will look like when the people carry out their threats the poverty stricken fool will sink into the ground in shame better he will not. see it better because i wouldn't want him around when i Ibuai Nanda. The act of Amacha finally become the equal of Amacha. This is impossible. 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 My people, I greet you. Thank you. We greet you, sir. My people, I greet you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Unity is indeed strength. Mm -hmm. Today is our day of appointment with destiny. The destiny of our people, the destiny of the Amacha people is sacred. So now, let's all march to Jazu's house and protect the sacredness of our destiny. Amacha Akwenu! Amacha Akwenu! Amacha Akwenu! Let's go! Silence! Silence! Wise one, we are gathered here. Listen! To the message of the gods of Amachara. This gathering does not enjoy the support of the gods of Amachara. The intent is evil. I question your integrity on that, wise one. The gods are the gods of the Amachara people and not the gods of Ichiazu. Yes! Or has Ichiazu bribed you to speak? Ah! Shut up your mouth before the gods strike you dead. Beware that they do not turn on you first for misrepresenting them. People of Amaja, I perceive death. I hear the distant rumble of the deadly thunder of injury. Disperse! Go home. Go to your houses to avoid the wrath of our gods. Wise one, we are not against the gods. We people only want a new Iwe, and Ichi Azu is refusing us one. That is why we want to go to his place and demand for one without further delay. Uh -huh. The gods choose the rulers of Amachara Kingdom, and so far, Ichi Azu enjoys their support. To oppose him is to oppose the gods. He who has ears, let him hearken to the voice of the gods of Amachara. Yeah. My people, let him go. My people, I greet you. We greet you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My people, let's go. we greet you. No, we still greet you. Abuwa Panda. Abuwa Panda. Abuwa Panda. Abu Panda, Abu Panda. In spite of all our efforts, this fool still has the upper hand. 
He has the people behind him. He, he has. He has people. achieved nothing, Chidima. I am the Ibuain Tanda. This load is still too small to defy the strength and resolve of the hands of Amaja. It beats me. It beats me. How else can we continue with the gods solidly behind him? Ichidima. The voice of the people is the voice of the gods. Yes. But if the gods decide to speak and act at variance with the wishes of the people, then it is better for the people to forge ahead without them. Abu Abanda. Abu Abanda. Chief Moka. That's a verbal challenge to the gods. It's dangerous. A wealthy man is a god to his own environment. It is now time to show that to the gods and the people of Amachara. Abu Abanda. I have never lost a battle. And I must win this one. Abu Abanda. Abu Abanda.
You said you would kill her in order to send a clear message to her father. I changed my mind. If in three days' time her father is still blocking my way to the throne, you will kill her and dump her cups in front of their house. Chief, please. Shut up! Shut up! Another word from you and you will die now! Idiot. Take her out of this place. Despite the death of the chief priest and all the entreaties that I have made to your father in the last few days to let me be the ego of a marcherer, he has refused. Now, I am going to send you home with a clear message for him. I will, I will do it for you, sir. It must be so much I would do it for you. Good. These gentlemen will brief you on your way. Gentlemen. Yes, Chief. Chief. Standing by, Chief. Take heart to our father. Yes, Chief. Okay, Chief. Consider it though. Bye, lady. Thank you.
Look, I know how you feel about this. Huh? Every other mother should feel like this. But listen, there's nothing to be disturbed over. We shall find her. I promise you. I know that the gods will protect her. She'll be back. I have served the gods well. And they will protect my daughter. Hmm? Don't let this disturb you, please. Have you served them better than the chief priest? Who they murdered in cold blood three days ago? And that ghosts have done nothing about it. My, the way I saw my daughter Chidera in a dream last night, it wasn't good at all. Wait. A dream is only a dream. The police are already looking for her. I know that the gods will protect her until the police find her and bring her back. I am assuring you that she'll be back. Huh? She will be back. Come on, man, let's get up.